He's in the ground in front of us. All right, ready? What is up, ladies, gentlemen, and hunters of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Gunnel Outdoors YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be going goose hunting with a couple of my buddies. This is my first ever goose hunt, so we're going to see if we can get this done. Remember, if you guys do enjoy my videos, make sure to leave this video a like. It lets me know that you like seeing hunting content just like this, especially geese hunting and waterfowl hunting. And it also pushes my content, more of my content out to you, and it also pushes it out to more people so that they can enjoy it as well. So thank you for that. Also, make sure to comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and hit the subscribe button, turn the post notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. Without further ado, it's 4 th it's 5.30 right now. We're ready to get out, rocking and rolling and everything. So I'll catch you guys at the spot when we go ahead and rig up everything. And then we're gonna see if we can get on my first ever goose or my first ever, um, my first ever goose hunt. We're gonna see if we can get one. So join me in this epic adventure. We're gonna see if we can get on my first goose of the season and first goose ever, which is awesome. So without further ado, let's get to the spot and let's get to hunting. Smackdown on them right now? There's like 20 on the ground. Yeah, two things on the ground in front of us. Yeah. Alright, ready? Call him. We dumped a couple. There's one on the ground right there still. Sam? Jeez. Yeah, hang on. You want me to get him? Oh, 
him there. Leave him there. Leave him there. <laughs> no, he's fine. They're going to the right. I don't know who hit that one. I, I know. I hit one. Yeah, they're coming. They're circling back. Tag them again. Well, we got some. A couple of them. Finish them off. Three. I think, right? No? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, I was like, are we ready to go? Are we pulling? Because <laughs> they were like, there was like 20 of them that were circling this way. All right, well, how did today's hunt go? Wonderful. What did we get? 12. 12? 12 How many did you get? Uh, I don't know. Just letting them fly. Yeah, just letting them sling. Letting them sling. I dropped at least one, maybe two, I don't know. But, yeah. Good eats there, my friends good eats alrighty guys so we are back at the kitchen right now I have my goose actually put in the fridge right now we're gonna give you giving it a taste test I already got it all gutted out and everything and we're gonna go and see our first impressions on what uh, goose tastes like so you guys are gonna try you know you and I are gonna try it out for the first time and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on everything on it I've never tried it before I've heard it it's a little bit gamey and a little bit dark dark meat so we're gonna see how it goes but I'm gonna see how and I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare this and I will give you my honest thoughts and my honest opinions on how good it tastes. So, stay tuned. It's not going to be much. It's going to be about a couple pieces and stuff like that. It looks like it's a little bit dried out. We're going to put some uh, cooking seasoning and stuff on it. And then we're going to throw it right into this saucepan, this cast iron. And then also, we have some of this stuff. And also, some collard green or some green beans and corn. But we're going to give this a shot and see if we can uh, make it taste good. So, stay tuned. All right. So... We're going to start off with some black pepper. We're going to throw some black pepper on this and see if we can wash these off a little bit first because it's almost like jerky in a sense. We're going to wash it off, kind of cool it down a little bit, kind of get it wet. And it's not as tangy. So now we're going to put some black pepper on it, just like so. A little bit of black pepper, put a little bit of salt. And then what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some slap your mama on it, some Cajun seasoning. That's my favorite stuff. So we're gonna throw some Cajun on this. There we go. Kind of soak it around a little bit, make sure it's on all edges. Give it a good old stir a little bit. And now they're ready to get cooked, so let's go. Oh yeah, also, I also have fish in the oven as well, so, you know, we're gonna do a little bit of surf and turf, but surf and turf, the turf is gonna be the, the goose, even though it's waterfowl, it's still, you know, it's waterfowl, it's meat, in a sense, uh, bird meat, and then uh, the turf, the surf is gonna be, the surf is just gonna be the fish, so we're gonna see how it works out. Dab her some oil in there. I'm gonna give her a good old cook. Alrighty. Here she goes into the saucepan. I don't know how long we have to cook it for, but we're gonna give her a shot. All right, we're gonna give her a shot now. Everything, it's right here, move the beer. Smells good. Smells just like Cajun. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking for. Look at that instant mash right there. 
Idaho buttery home style mashed taters right there with some green beans and some corn. And then we got our cheek or our, tur or our geese. So we're gonna give her a shot. Alrighty. We're gonna plate her up now. We're gonna see what she gets got. So we're gonna plate her up a little bit with some taters right here. Some mashed taters. Some good old mashed taters right there. I'm gonna take the goose a little bit out right now. I think it should be good. It doesn't need to take long with these guys, even though, you know, you're supposed to do it with jerky and everything, but I really don't care. I just want to try it. I want to do a first impression on that, and then I'll do another impression on the jerky and everything, and that'll be a separate video after I go out and do another duck hunt. But uh, yeah, we'll try it out. Alrighty guys, we have the goose right there. We're gonna see what it tastes like and everything. I'm assuming it's gonna be a little bit gamey, but we shall see, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Alrighty guys, so we are over here, right here. We have our plate right there that has our geese right on it right here. So we're gonna see if we can eat it right now and I'm gonna do a first impression for you guys. So here we go. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, here we go. Very tender. Almost like a dark, tendery meat. And I see why a lot of people, you know, doing the air fryer and stuff like that, or what they'll do is they'll dehydrate them and then put them through a dehydrator and make them into jerky. So I can see why that is. Um, I just wanted to see what, you know, I know that you can do that with breasts and everything, but I just figured I'd take a test and see what it actually tastes like outright. Very crunchy. I actually like it. I'd give it a solid like 9 out of 10 for this with the Cajun and everything. Hell yeah. I mean, you just got to be able to warm it up to where it kills off all the bugs and everything that are in it and everything. But yeah. That's a very gamey taste. And I like that. That is very good. Very, very good. I highly recommend that. All right, you guys. And that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. That, that goose was absolutely delicious. I'm glad that I was able to go out with my buddies and they were able to invite me and I was able to, you know, basically perform a uh, catch and cook in a sense. It's more of a shoot and cook, but uh, you know, that's really what it is. And uh, you know, that's how to duck hunt or, or how to geese hunt and waterfowl hunt and stuff like that. I was grateful that my buddies were able to let me go out. So uh, yeah, I will leave a link to uh, one of my buddies over here and I'll give leave his Instagram down below if you guys want to follow him. He does a lot of duck hunting and goose hunting and stuff like that as well. And he's more of a, a waterfowl hunter. Um, but yeah, if you want to follow him, that'd be greatly appreciated. I would truly appreciate that. But yeah, that is going to be it. That goose was absolutely amazing. Cooked to perfection with some Slappy Mama seasoning, some, some salt, some pepper, Slappy Mama seasoning and everything. And it was able to just kind of dry right up right there to where everything was killed off. And it was absolutely amazing, even the, even on the stove top, on the cast iron pan. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys remember, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like. Comment down below your favorite part of this video. And then also make sure to go down there, hit the subscribe button, and turn the post notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, guys, when you guys are out hunting, make sure to stay safe, have fun, and go get them. <laughs>